Hi Hat Tracks Live, Hi We Shall Overcome, Happy Birthday Daz, I'm Pixie Sticks and I'm going to sing you a few songs. This first one is called Tossed by a Bullock in Nottingham. That's not my title, I stole it from an 1896 newspaper article in the Nottinghamshire Guardian and I stole pretty much all of the words to the song <laughs> from the same article. It's a wonderful way of procrastinating when you're supposed to be doing your uni work. So, <laughs> it's tossed by a bullock in Nottingham. Shortly after one o'clock, one Wednesday, one hot July in eighteen ninety six, came the slip. He caused great consternation in Albert Street. Gave everybody a scare. Rampaging right up to St. Peter's. He charged at the paper boys there. In Friar Lane he frightened a policeman. Took a drunk out of a post made out of a bullet in your head. He ran up Healy Street. He ran down Albert Street. Through St. Peter's Square. He ran up Wheeler Gate. He ran down Friar Lane to the market and he made some mayhem there. He ran up Charlotte Street. So now for something a little bit more serious. This is a song about my family. I'm slightly obsessed with looking into my family tree and doing my genealogy. Partly because when I was a really little girl, I was told some amazing stories about some of the people that I'm descended from. And as I got older and got a bit comfortable with how to research things, I realised I can dig into these stories a little bit more. And I can find completely new stories that I'd never even heard about. So this one's all completely made up from stories that actually happened, um, some of which I was actually there for, and um, all ones I was told about when I was little. So this is Panic in the Water. Skeggy Beach in the early noughties, my ma, dad and me And the best dog ever, Raffles, who ain't seen much of the sea I've always loved to swim out deep, cause a little fear is a little sweet to me To me Have you ever had a four stone 
don't try to climb up on your shoulders where it's dry. He's all terror claws and heavy fur, and I'm far too young and pretty yet to die. There was panic in the water. There was fear in that place. They stuck my mama on the shoreline. Sunshine throwing her face. There was panic in the water. No, we couldn't touch the ground. But I say now with all the pride of any daughter. It was me dad who kept us safe and sound. Years ago in Bournemouth family picnic by the sea. Great granddad Alfred, mama, granddad, my dad and me uncle Pete. Dad was small with big ideas and the Isle of Wight didn't seem to far away, didn't seem too far away. Do you think that we could do it, Dad? Uh, if you want to, lad, we'll try. But the waves get big when the wind gets up and all you see is you and sea and sky. There was panic in the water when they couldn't see the land. Mum was waiting on the shoreline with an ice cream in her hand. There was panic in the water when whipping spray up Should we go back, Dad, if you think we ought to? My granddad kept my own dad safe and sound. Nineteen forties Dunkirk will fight them on the beach. They're pressed and they're surrounded and homes just out of reach. Mama's not a mam just yet, she's waiting for her soldier to come home. Come on home. Granddad sweeps the water now, but danger's coming, enemy. There's nothing more that I can do, lads. Boats are coming, England's over there. There was panic in the water. There was terror on that day. Boys were dying on the shoreline while they were trying to get away. There was panic in the water but there is something I have found the pioneers built the defences round the beaches my great granddad kept his own lad safe and sound my great granddad kept his own lad safe and sound okay the next one is about my great great grandma Charlotte now if the stories are to be believed Charlotte in her older years was rather partial to a drop of gin now, she grew up with her granddad, who was a master tailor, who obviously taught her what to do with a needle and thread. And uh, when she was a little older and down on the look a little, she would go and buy a suit from the pawn shop, take it to pieces, turn it inside out to hide the stain bits on the back, 
sew it all up again into a new suit and flog it off. <laughs> Supposedly to pay the gym bill. Uh, you may be able to tell I'm quite a fan of uh, recycling bits and bobs of clothing into other things. So, uh, yeah, I wonder where I get that from. So here's to Charlotte and here's to anyone who's ever had to be a little bit resourceful with their clothing. <laughs> So, a song about my great granddad, Alfred Pierce. He did a lot of jobs, did Alfred. Um, he was under footman in the big house. He lost that job because he threw out some manky pheasants. And when he was asked where they were and accused of stealing them, he said, Nah, they were riddled with maggots and I won't feed them to my dog. But that weren't good enough because apparently that's how the toffs like it riddled with maggots and rancid. Yeah, Alfred wouldn't have fed that to his dog. No way. Um, after that, he decided he needed something else to do. So he was a farm labourer for a while. And while he was working in the fields, he saw these trucks going past that said Bestwood on them. Bestwood. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, Bestwood's all right. Um, there was a pit there. And Alfred went and got himself a job in the pit and cycled from Leicestershire to Nottingham every day to do his job, to put food on the table and feed the kids. And this is my song about a story I was told about Alfred. He did have a bit of a pickle one time when he was hanging, holding on to the rails in the mine. And uh, for some reason, someone had let one of the tubs go and it came and it ran over Alfred's hands. Now, Alfred was a mu musician and he needed those hands. And if he'd have pulled his fingers back while the tr tubs were going over them, he'd have been in right trouble. But he didn't. He held on and as a consequence, kept his fingers. 
but they were covered in miners' tattoos after that, or blue scars. suit straight back he's got a thousand miles still that's your great granddad Alfred Pierce known as the bull of bestwood cause his bellow was fierce blue scars marked the hands of a family strong enough and smart enough not to pull his fingers back blue scars by the hands of a family man who gave more than he took live life by the book who made his own plan blue scars by the of a family man raised the kids in the shadow of the spoil mound did his work under the ground to fill the frying pan and now we go for walks around the spoil mound and we call it holy mountain and it's a really good spot Slows to flavor of the old time. Yeah. And I'm grateful to the people that I'll never get to know who built the perfect mountainside for Blackthorn to grow. Blue scars, mother hands of a family. So remember, we're raising funds today for the Bradford Metropolitan Food Bank. So if you can, and you're in a position to, chuck a couple of quid in the virtual bucket. It will make a difference to people. So thanks ever so much for listening. Enjoy the rest of the acts this evening. And once again, happy birthday, Daz. I've been Pixie Sticks. Take care. <laughs>